So this is a really exciting part of the course because in it we're going to generate an SEO report and find out what the SEO score is for your particular site. I think this is a fantastic exercise to help demystify SEO and also give you some very personalized information about what you need to do in order to rank higher in search engine results. So doing this now, having the report at your side as we go through the subsequent lectures, I think is going to help make the course a lot more relevant, a lot more interesting, and will help you take the necessary actions that you need to do. So in order to generate your SEO score, I'm going to give you the option to use two different free tools. So the first is a WooRank Chrome extension, uh, and secondly is a free tool on my site, so www.darawalsh.com forward slash SEO score. So really uh, there's advantages to both of these different tools. Number one, WooRank is a browser extension, so it's going to be you're only, you're going to be able to see an SEO score for any site that you visit and just open the extension when you want to. Um, the SEO report that will generate on my site I think is really useful because it gives a lot of very detailed information. It's something you can download and take away with you um, and also you can do an SEO comparison so you can compare your score to uh, another site's score. So let me just show you briefly how to uh, get the WooRank Chrome extension set up and then I'll show you my report as well. So to get the WooRank Chrome extension all you need to do is type in WooRank Chrome extension into Google and it comes up as the first result and you can install that as a extension into your browser. So as you can see I've already got it installed here and it shows up like the little symbol. So let's just say I'm visiting a website and I want to check out and understand a bit about their SEO well, I can just click this button to open the tool and it's already generated an SEO score here and it's broken down into different sections and gives advice about what you should do to improve your site. So there's SEO, uh, keyword consistency, index pages, anchor text, broken links, um, how it looks on mobile and iPad and so maybe a lot of this doesn't mean to now, it might not mean a lot to you now, but definitely by the end of the course you're going to be a lot more familiar with what's on this tool and how to interpret the information to improve SEO. So in order to generate the second SEO report, what we can do is head over to my site, darawalsh.com forward slash SEO score. And as I said, this is great because you can get an SEO score for a specific web page, which is what Google ranks in the search engine results, whether that be a landing page, a blog post, or home page, etc. And what I also like about this report is that it forces you to put in a keyword, and that automatically gets you thinking about, oh yeah, what keywords do I want to rank for? What should I be optimizing around? So let's just put in um, this site, tolingo.com, just taking this as an example. I'm going to put in the tra the keyword that I want to rank for, tran translation services. And I also want to put in a competitor that's ranking on the first page of Google because I want to understand what they're doing right and how can I model that to get myself to the top of the search results as well. So what you want to do then is put in your email. This is really more of a spam deterrent. I won't be blasting you guys with a lot of stuff. So you really scan now just in the interest of time. Uh, I'm going to skip on and I've already scanned it here. Um, and as you can see what you're going to get is a SEO report here with side by side comparison with your competitor. Um, so really, I mean, this is a great outline of what we're going to be doing in the rest of the course because here we've got things like the title tag description, images, the heading tags. This is all about optimization and placing our keywords in the right place in the search engines. And then we really come down to the authority building part of the course in terms of building authority on social media and also in terms of getting page links and backlinks to our domain as well. So here you can see some of the outlines there. And then also what we've got down here is a task list for your particular site, 
which I think is very helpful. So I'm not going to really get into it in too much detail because really we're going to be touching on all these areas throughout the remainder of the course. But what I'd suggest is uh, download the report, save it for yourself and keep it by your side as we're going through the remainder of the course. So just a final note um, that if you see on your SEO report that you're not seeing things like your description tags, heading tags, images, even though they're on your site, um, what may be happening is that you haven't put in the right page where your SEO information is contained. So this is an example of a site where that happened. You can go to the browser, view developer, view the source code, um, and then you can see in the source code here that it says, find the SEO content on the site's homepage on the homepage there, but then it has escape fragment. So you want to put all of that back into the uh, tool here. You want to put that as the page. So try that out. If you have any problems at all, just go back and rely on the Room Room Rank Chrome extension. That's going to give you more than enough information. So that's it, guys. I really hope that that was helpful. I know I've kind of thrown you in the deep end there, but hopefully that will demystify a lot of the information. Um, and really, we're going to be working through it uh, throughout the rest of the course anyway.